right, it is March 2nd, 4.09 p.m. Monday. Quickly editing up a, a gaming video since those pile up so quick. They are easy to record and easy to edit. I just put the files together and then trim the beginnings and ends and boom. I love it. Those are actually really fun to do. Not much effort in the gaming videos. Just easy going. But we do have a hiccup here before launch. It'll be a few days out, I think, before I take off for getting things done, getting laundry done, uh, getting my stuff put away. Uh, anyway, we got a leak. The antifreeze leak is not stopped like I was hoping it was. It just seems to be temperamental. But it is rusting just like the other steel fittings are. The rubber hose, rust, uh, the steel fittings rusting underneath the rubber hose. So I went and looked in for a coupler or a union, like a straight mail to mail like that one, but I did not find any. However, I did find the uh, flush kit. That used to be right here until I disconnected the rear heater core because of the same reason the steel lines are just rusting out. So until I get a new vacuum controlled uh, uh, what is that a coolant valve heater valve yeah I'll just put this in right there it might be okay with the fan as long as I keep the fan off and in the summer I usually drive with the window open anyways so I might just do that and just keep an eye on it make sure this thing doesn't start leaking just use this as a way to take out that leaky valve finally one of these Hose clamps are coming in use, or the hose clamps, these uh, uh, hose pliers. Got those like two years ago, I never ended up using them. Finally came in handy. This was one of those hoses that were just not gonna come off by hand. Look at that, got it, no problem. I love it. Ugh, it's gonna make a mess, I'm sure. It's uh, tough. Oh no, I wanted to flip that hose clip. Hose. Oh well. Get that in there. Get this thing out. I'm gonna have to hose everything down. A little more messy than I was hoping. But probably not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, that works. My heater core is just going to stay on. I'll leave this old thing out as a reminder to try and pick one up. A little project for later. Alright, got that washed off a little bit. And I'm going to throw probably a bolt in there. And uh, yeah, pretty much all done with that. I'm going to gonna start it up get it good and warm and make sure that doesn't leak and then move on to the next thing maybe the uh, oil and filter all right found a little nut to, or a little bolt to fit in there it's getting tight not gonna leak and zip tied it up and out of the way got the timing gun hooked up to the number one cylinder the number one wire spark plug wire Says what it, let's go see what it reads. I'm gonna disconnect the vacuum advance. Put it in there. Uh, what does that say? Advanced. Okay, so I just checked the initial timing. I hooked the vacuum line back up just out of curiosity. I think it needs to be revved up to a certain RPM to check advanced timing. Uh, but I just want to see what it's saying. Put that hook back up. Now the line is, uh, what does that say? 16 degrees. It says 
12. Yeah, it must be 16. Sounds good to me. I'll just leave it be until we uh, try out that super coil again. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's do an oil change. Actually, let's do the transmission fluid first. Or check it anyway. Looking good. Still got little bits of oil coming down from above. It's not the rear main. I checked that and it looked dry. Unless it's just the leak is sneaking by me and I can't see it. It looks like it's coming out that drain plug, but it's not. It's coming down from up higher and it's getting on everything. Yeah, it looks like it's coming down from the top. Or at least some of it is. I'll have to deal with that later. Well, that's straining. Let's check the power steering fluid. Looks good. I do hate that process. I didn't figure out how to make my own funnel. Or uh, find a way to find an adapter so I could put a cap on the inside. It's, it's just a hole with no uh, way to clip anything into it. So then maybe there's like a rubber plug I could just use or something. Um, okay, let's run it and check the level and close it up. All right, you guys, all the oils are changed, checked, topped off. I even sucked out some of the brake fluid, getting some grungy stuff off the bottom. Found a little syringe that worked perfect, a little plastic syringe. It's like a one ounce syringe or something. Um, so that was a good feeling because I knew that was having a problem with the, uh, the rim on the reservoir corroding and letting the brake fluid drip out a little bit as I was, I noticed as I was taking turns a lot out driving and boondocking doing a lot of driving I would stop and see a bunch of brake fluid dripping down my tire and it was coming out the top of the reservoir so I cleaned that up cleaned the rim up and wiped down the rubber gasket and then taught yeah I got some clean brake fluid in there I think we're looking pretty good still a couple days out from launch I uh, gonna put some things away I got all my tool bags opened up. I'm about to bug bomb. Oh, laundry. I need to go finish laundry. Bug bomb. And then there's a few other things on my list. A couple more upgrades to the command center. This thing just keeps moving along. Getting better and better every time. Uh, a wireless keyboard. Gosh, that is so nice. I just pick it up, put it away, work on a project, put it back. I'm on the wrong side here. I was trying out the yellow side, and it was getting kind of warped from sitting uh, from sitting off to the side here in the hallway. This thing's heavy. I like this mat. 
I do like the white side better. It shows up, shows up a lot better on camera. But yeah, it even has a handy switch on top, so I can flip that off, grab it. Doesn't matter if I hit some keys or not. It's not gonna mess up what I'm doing on my keyboard. And grab this stuff, throw it off. Boom. Got rid of a couple of wires there. Love it. Cleaned it up really nice. I, I hated having the. This, these are two things that should really never uh, not be wireless. They should always be wireless. Wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. It's just so nice to have. I'll keep my wired keyboard and mouse for like shop computers. Computers, I don't have to worry about replacing the battery all the time. But this is nice. This is handy. And also, I don't know if you noticed yet, but there's a yellow button over here. This button is keyed to the asterisk, so I can use it as a cough button. 60 bucks for that one button. I could not find it cheaper anywhere else. It's just these single USB programmable buttons are just crazy expensive. I could not find a better deal. And it is pretty cool. I was able to program it so the light turns off when I'm pushing on it. It comes uh, with some free software that is really handy and really thorough with programming. Um, and so that's what I use to program this. And it actually writes to the buttons. There's a little microcontroller in there and got it to uh, turn the light off when I push it it's just a way to reach over and clear my throat if I need to while I'm doing command center updates and vlogs also for the gaming and stuff and it's in a really handy location I just reach over and mute that if I need to cough I was even thinking about putting it there or something but I could see that getting in the way and that works just fine. And yes, stickers should be here tomorrow. I've been hanging out a lot later than I was thinking I would. It is the 4th. No, I guess I'm not too bad on time. Uh, I probably will be out a bit later than the 6th, though, getting everything done. But we'll see. I'll keep this rolling vlog going. Um, but yes, the stickers should be here tomorrow. These are the original ones I got. They're thin and they're... they're Got a gloss coating, but they are papery, and when they get wet, they disintegrate. So, um, I've just been using these to kind of tag my own stuff, and and the new stickers are going to do a lot better outdoors. They're UV treated, waterproof. Well, hey everybody, adding to this vlog. It's Friday, one twenty nine in the morning, March sixth. Uh, woke up late after an evening nap. I thought I would do a little vlog about my fingernails. For those who watch my videos thoroughly, no, I do not have fingernails. Uh, I think it's an OCD thing slash anxiety thing. Uh, OCD because I, I I used to hate feeling the edge on my nails, so I would pick at them with my thumb and pretty much just tear them away or pick at them until I could peel them away with my other hand. I would. It was a kind of a subconscious thing. It was really hard to stop. I did. I put some effort into stopping and I did. Look at my nails. I just wanted to film that before I went boondocking and possibly will clip them back short again. But yeah, I would pick at them with a the thumb and try and tear it. I, and I wouldn't really... It was, yeah. It, it was done pretty subconsciously without even having to think about it. And stressing, yeah, definitely stressing. I would. That's my go-to when I'm stressing about something is to pick at my nails. And it's not just picking either. Actually, that's probably done less frequently than just taking a pair of fingernail clippers and clipping them as short as I possibly can. Not that I go at it all at once. It's just I, I kind of fidget with my hands. And I feel an edge, and I just wouldn't like that. So I grab a nail clipper and take it short. And boy, you could see the line still. How far back I had them clipped back to it's like I'm and they were getting beat red that's kind of why I stopped I really put mental effort into stopping and it's been so long since I had nails like a really long time I remember my dad yelling at me for biting my nails but I don't ever bite my nails that's kind of gross that's disgusting actually after being an apartment maintenance guy for so long your hands just your hands go everywhere they get dirty that's disgusting but I don't bite my nails blowing my mind that yeah I have nails and it's so awesome I got a little couple examples here this these battery cases these rechargeable batteries I use often I could never go grab one of these and pull out a couple batteries for my headphones here ever without taking along a screwdriver 
now oh, it's like having built-in tools that is so i mean i've been it's been like maybe a month now a month since i first started growing them back and then i clipped them short again i'm not sure if that was anxiety or i just uh i just clipped them and i went a little too short so i grow i've grown them back out and i'm making this video because i feel like i might not have them for too much longer if i go boondocking and get stressed out and they're looking healthier though, the skin. Yeah, that was what kind of made me stop doing that. It's because the skin was getting really pink and I was seeing even redder, some deep red lines starting to form. You could kind of see them still. It's like three of them. And uh, they've been infected before. Yeah, there's that, and you can see also too where the skin still hasn't quite uh, reconnected with the bottom of the nail. It's like a line right there in the light. That's how far back I used to clip them. It's just, they bleed. And yeah, look at this. This is also something I could never do without having... Also, I would take this little flathead um, to get the batteries out of here. They're kind of in there pretty deep. And look at that. That is so awesome. It's like, I've got a flathead screwdriver on all my fingertips now. It's awesome. So anyway, a little fingernail update, I guess. And my fingers feel healthier. They look healthier. I like seeing the skin getting back to normal. Except for some of these nails where they were picked back so far. Look at that, that's crazy. But yeah, neat. Fingernail vlog. All right, everybody, time to wrap up this vlog. The RV's looking pretty good. Got all the oils changed or checked. Just got my laundry done. Still have some cleanup in here to do. Some dishes. It's now March the 7th. I've had to reschedule my appointment for mid-March a little bit later than I was hoping for. But I, I'm getting things done in a timely manner and getting, you know, making sure I cover all my bases. Still got a bug bomb. I started opening up all my tool bags. Need to open up my toolboxes. Open up everything. I want to make sure I get all these spiders and whatever. Um, and then, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Pretty good. I'm either getting a... It is now, yeah, March the 7th, Saturday. And I'm either give, getting a ride in Monday to town here locally to ship out some stickers. Or I will drive myself. The RV is now running good. And look at all these stickers. Thank you, everybody, for buying up my stickers. It's awesome. Uh, going everywhere too. We got New York, Rhode Island, Finland, holy moly, Nebraska, Canada, Quebec, QC, Ohio, Iowa, Canada, Ontario, ON, and then uh, going out to the UK, and another one to the UK. Thank you everybody so much for buying stickers. They are going out, uh, they're going out Monday. Either I'm getting a ride or I'm driving the RV in myself. Lots coming up. Got some stickers to mail out. Those are going out Monday. Thank you, everybody, so much for buying the stickers. That's awesome how many people wanted stickers right off the bat. Thank you so much. Lots coming up. Boondocking is coming. I'm getting stir-crazy in one way or the other. And get out on the road. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye.